Well, a Portuguese wanted fugitive is due to appear before a South African magistrate today. 69-year-old Joao uh, João Manuel de Oliveira Rendiro was on Interpol's red list before he was nabbed in Umschlange Rock, Sturban, in November. Well, back home, he faces a decade in prison for tax evasion and money laundering. Letiwe Mdluli is on this case for us, and she joins us live now. Uh, Letiwe, this man was arrested in November. I presume there's an extradition underway. Well, there's been a very brief appearance by Mr. Joao de Oliveira here at the Verulam Magistrates Court. We're currently outside. The matter has been adjourned to the 21st of January for when discussions for his extradition process will begin. Um, but today, the matter, of course, was postponed to the 21st, where we will be hearing um, those discussions between his lawyers and also the state lawyers. But just to give you a bit of background as to um, what exactly he's been arrested for, for here in the country back in November. Um, Interpol actually arrested him in Umshanga, um, following um, them wanting him for the longest time. He has been on Interpol's red list um, after fleeing from his country of origin in Portugal. Um, in that country, we understand that he was arrested and then convicted of tax invasion and also money laundering worth 31 million euros. And for now, there are processes in place to have him extradited to his uh, country of origin, which is Portugal, and that matter will be heard on the 21st. How did he appear in court, and is he going to resist extradition to Portugal? But it looks like he is not going to be resisting um, being um, 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 extradited back to um, Portugal. His lawyers did, though, indicate that they are um, uh, appealing the um, magistrate's decision back um, when he appeared in court in December, where he was denied bail. Um, during that court appearance, the magistrate did indicate that um, they fear that Mr. D. Olivier is a flight risk, and so bail was denied. During today's court's appearance, the uh, magistrate did indicate that he will be giving his reasons as to why he denied him bail. And um, the lawyer representing Mr. D. Olivier did um, indicate that they are not happy with today's postponements as well. They were hoping that the extradition process will begin today, but un unfortunately um, that could not happen and the magistrate did rule that the matter will be postponed. Um, appearing in court today, he did not appear um, to be sad or anything. He did not show any emotions in court, but of course there is a lot of international media um, from Portugal reporting on this matter just to indicate how serious this matter is. Of course, he was um, sentenced to 10 years imprisonment before fleeing um, in Portugal and coming to South Africa. And of course, being on Interpol's red list indicated how serious of um, a crime he had committed in that, in that country. And for now, um, we do understand that there, is, there are two cases um, that are going to be heard um, in, in court on the 21st, and we do understand that it's for tax invasion and also money laundering. But um, today he did uh, appear just a, a, a bit, um, he wasn't sad, he wasn't um, showing any emotion, but of course international media wanted to get some words out of him, uh, but of course um, the magistrate did say that they will get that chance, but not in court. Unfortunately, we did not hear any words from him, but um, the international media are here and they are saying that this matter is very, very important, especially um, where they are coming from in Portugal. All right, thank you so much, Letiwe Mdluli, and the accused name, because I really destroyed it earlier, was João Manuel de Oliveira Rendiro. So we'll have more on that when the case returns to court.